For the first time since Colorado legalized marijuana, scientists are getting an in-depth look at what's in today's weed, and some of the results are surprising. Andy Lafrate founded Shara Scientific in Denver, Colorado. His lab tests marijuana for potency and contaminants. One of the things I hear the most often is, oh, so you're testing the marijuana, right? But Lafrate and his colleagues aren't smoking it. They're analyzing marijuana with very sophisticated machinery. He's presenting the results of his analyses at a meeting of the American Chemical Society in Denver. Lafrate says the pot of today is definitely not what it used to be. We've seen a big increase in marijuana potency compared to where it was 20 or 30 years ago. I would say the average potency of marijuana has probably increased by a factor of at least three. Um, we're looking at average potencies right now of around 20% THC. THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol, is the ingredient in marijuana that produces the high. But it's actually the cannabidiol, or CBD, that has the therapeutic benefits touted by medical marijuana activists. Lafrate's testing has found many of his samples contain little to no CBD. A result, he says, of crossbreeding to increase the amount of THC. A lot of the time it's below the detection limit of our equipment or it's there at a very low concentration. That means there might be little difference in how the many varieties sold make you feel, even though some claim one kind may make you mellow and another will make you more alert, for example. Lafrate also tested pot for contaminants, both natural and chemical. And one thing that's been really surprising to us is the level of microbial contamination in marijuana. Many of the samples were covered in fungi or bacterial contaminants. Some had butane, which is used to create marijuana extracts. Others had heavy metals. Contaminant testing isn't mandatory yet, but Lafrate sees it on the horizon. When you're dealing with something like marijuana that's been under prohibition for the last 80 years, um, this you know, scientific testing really gives the government and consumers confidence that this is something that's safe. Lafrate says regulations will continue to evolve as scientists, lawmakers, and others learn more about the plant and its products.